Next, to give a brief overview of the conference and what everyone can expect, I'd like to introduce Dr. Nick Edgar, CEO of New Zealand Landcare Trust. Thank you. Uh, kia ora. Good morning, delegates. Um, I'd like to thank you, uh, welcome you on behalf of NZ Landcare Trust to our inaugural Landcare and Catchment Management Conference. It's been uh, many months in the planning and the day has finally dawned. Um, I think I can speak very happily and uh, positively in on behalf of myself and my staff that as much as we've enjoyed the many months of planning, we are now very much ready to move to a phase of action on the stage. Um, I'm going to keep my introduction relatively short and sweet. It's going to be a little story about space and time. We'll start with space. Why are we here at the Gallagher Academy of Performing Arts? There are three principal reasons. The first is it's a very pretty place. The second is that this evening we are having a dinner and an ag artwear fashion show. Most of the delegates here today will be attending dinner. New Zealand Land Care Trust sponsors the Land Care Awareness section of Ag Artwear Awards at Mystery Creek Field Days. And over dinner, you will have the opportunity to see some of our winning uh, garments that have been featured at, land, at uh, field days over the past few years. And uh, if you're going to run a costume show, there's no better place than an Academy of Performing Arts to do that. And thirdly, NZ Landcare Trust's head office is based at the University of Waikato campus here in Hamilton. Um, at the conclusion of this conference, I'd welcome delegates to take the opportunity to visit our offices. Uh, we have very much an open door policy and I'm hoping that there will be much discussion and opportunity for future collaborative opportunities that come out of this conference over the next two days. Right, we'll move on to time. My plan is to give you a very brief overview of what's in store for you over the next two days of presentations and workshops. What seems like a very broad package of presentations it does have a cunning plan in terms of a, a cohesive strategy to bring all the threads together. Day one is very much about achievements at varying scales and day two is very much about the future. Day one today we will begin with a focus on farm scale approaches to sustainable land and water management in this morning's first session. We will then move on to looking at land care group phenomena around managing land, water and biodiversity and then we will move on to looking at catchment scale approaches to sustainable environmental management. We will round the afternoon off today by looking at how the Australian catchment management authorities work with land care groups and networks in Australia as an indication to the potential collaborative opportunities between regional councils NZ Land Care Trust and Land Care Groups and environment, wider environmental community groups in our country. Then we will have a look at a, a broad perspective on the Australian land care movement and round the day off with a, an international perspective on land care across the globe. I think it will be a very fascinating presentation because land care is now in over 16 countries across the globe and our keynote speaker will be giving us a, an update on recent developments within the Pacific as well. Day two, as I said, is very much about the future. We are going to begin by looking at uh, that magical nexus between environmental sustainability and economic determinism. I think that is very much going to be part of Landcare's future, is what we're calling the sustainable edge, that uh, marriage between the environment, stewardship and financial success. We will then move on to talk about collaboration and partnerships and ultimately in a new era of collaborative governance and collective action, it's very timely to be considering the partnership opportunities between iwi, communities, landowners, community groups and the wider agency infrastructure in New Zealand and more broadly across the, across the planet. As Richard, my chair, has said, we want this conference to be engaging. We've introduced some fairly large question and answer sessions into each session, and we have a workshopping session in the afternoon of day two. 
So if you have very burning questions, very challenging questions about the future of land care and sustainable land management, I would encourage you to participate in those workshop sessions. More information about the workshopping process will be provided to you after afternoon tea. At the very end of the conference, my Board of Trustees will come back on stage to give a very brief overview of uh, highlights from the conference and uh, some of their take-home messages over the, over the course of the next two days. And that will pretty much round out our land care and catchment management conference. So I'd just like to say again, on behalf of my board and staff, a very big welcome to our conference. There are a large number of Australian delegates in the audience. We met some of them over dinner last night, which was very pleasant. I would encourage you all to be networking with your colleagues. I can see this conference being the beginnings of seeding some potential collaborations across the Tasman and maybe even more broadly into the Pacific. So with that, I would like to say very big welcome. I hope you very much enjoy the conference and um, it's great to have you here. Thank you.